we're going to be working on first and second differences. What we have to do to understand first and second differences is first of all we need to come up with a chart. And to get the chart, what we have to do is, if you look here, it says the Psi base. So what it's asking us to do is to count the number of sides. In this case, it's 1. In this case, it's 1, 2. That one's 2. In this case, it's 1, 2, 3. That's 3. And this one is 1, 2, 3, 4. And that is 4. Now, that takes care of 1, 2, 3, 4 here. And we can assume that the fifth one is also going to be going by 1s and going up to 5. We also need to count the number of cubes. This is 1, this is 4, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And those we put in here. And we can already see that there's a pattern developing. 1 times 1 equals 1, 2 times 2 equals 4, 3 times 3 equals 9, 4 times 4 equals 16, so the 5 times 5 is going to be 25. The first thing we need to do is to get the first difference. Now the first difference is the amount of difference between each of these numbers. In the first case, 0 to 1, the difference is 1. In this case, between the 1 and the 4, the difference is 3. In this case, between the 4 and the 9 is 5. Between the 5 and the 16 is 7 and between the 16 and the 25 is 9. That is our first difference. And if we can see for our first difference that they are different numbers. Now the interesting part is when we go to second difference, the second difference is the difference between the, the first difference's numbers. So the 1 and 3, what is the difference? 2. What is the difference between the 3 and 5? The difference is 2. What is the difference between 5 and 7? The difference is 2, and the difference between 7 and 9 is also 2. All of a sudden, for the second difference, we see that they are all the same. Now they're asking us to graph this, so what you have to do is consider this to be x and consider this to be y. And remember when you plot points, this is your x and this is your y. So we'll have to plot them. The first one is x, uh, 1 and 1, which will go, first one is 0, 0. That's our first point, 1 and 1. The next one is 2, and it goes up to 4. The next one is 3, and it goes up to 9. So what we're starting to see is this is becoming a non-linear line. We're seeing a curve. And if you mirrored this curve on the other side, we'd see it's become a parabola.